What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel, my name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on MVIS stock. First of all, brief summary about this company. Microvision Incorporated develops LiDAR sensors used in automotive safety and autonomous driving applications. Its laser beam scanning technology is based on microelectrical mechanical systems, laser diodes, optomechanics, uh, electronics, algorithms and software. The company also develops micro display concepts and designs for head-mounted augmented reality headsets as well as 1440i MIMS module that can support AR headsets, interactive display modules uh, used in smart speakers and other devices, and consumer LiDAR uses in smart home systems. In addition, it provides a PicoP, a scanning technology that creates full color, high contrast and uniform image over the entire field of view from a small and thin module. And for now, uh, its total market cap uh, is uh, $2.24 billion and uh, they have a revenue of uh, $3.09 million uh, with a net income of negative $13.63 million. They have a negative uh, revenue growth of uh, uh, 65.23% and uh, their total cash is 16.86 million dollars with a total debt of uh, 3.11 million dollars and uh, their current ratio is 1.75 and the good current ratio should be above 1.5 level. So from the financial standpoint uh, it is a company that is quite stable but they don't have enough revenue because uh, their product is still in development. And uh, let me remind you that uh, we had this huge spike in price of more than 65% and then we have this decline and uh, for now we again hit our uh, accumulation point. And let me remind you that this spike uh, in price uh, was because of uh, this news. On March 31st uh, we have uh, on uh, Seeking Alpha uh, the information that Intervac Microvision shares soar after Microsoft's $22 billion HoloLens contract. And let me quote you just uh, two first bullets. Microsoft's new up to $22 billion HoloLens mixed reality headset contract with the US Army is providing a boost to shares of Intervac and Microvision. Microvision, once rumored to be an acquisition target for Microsoft, is reportedly a supplier for the HoloLens 2 models. And here is the information about their uh, product. Basically, it is uh, pictures about uh, teardown of uh, HoloLens. And as you can see, uh, inside this product, uh, we have uh, some uh, spare parts made by MVs. And uh, it is very good for the company because uh, they have patented technologies. And Microvision is a very good uh, company to be acquired by Microsoft. And on top of that, uh, we still have uh, this product, it is automotive 3D LiDAR sensor and according to their latest press release they want to show the sample and uh, Samit Sharma says uh, that I expect that the A sample hardware and the uh, benchmark data for demonstration to interested parties will be available in the April 2021 timeframe. I also expected that a version of our first generation long range LiDAR sensor after internal validation, reliability and compliance testing could be available for sale in small quantities in the third or fourth quarter of 2021. And basically from the fundamental standpoint it is still very good company. Uh, they have enough money to operate. Uh, they have uh, Basically, the contract is already signed uh, between Microsoft and the uh, US Army. Microvision has a bunch of patents that protected their rights with uh, the HoloLens 2 uh, headset system. And that's why I think uh, they will have uh, very good revenue in uh, 2021. And on top of that, they are about to launch uh, their LiDAR system. And let me show you this data. It is a semi-autonomous and autonomous vehicles, vehicles market, global forecast to 2022 and 2030. And here is the data that I want to quote you. The semi-autonomous and autonomous vehicle market in terms of volume is projected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 21.36% from 2017 to 2022 and 68.94% 
from 2025 to 2030 respectively. And this number of compound annual growth rate is mind-blowing. It is a literally an explosion in this market. And uh, this company, Microvision, has a bunch of patents that protect their intellectual property. And that's why, in the long run, this company will be successful. Uh, here is some uh, news that was published just a couple of days ago. And uh, it is a notice of uh, 2021 annual meeting. It will be virtually on March 26th at uh, 9 a.m. Pacific time. And uh, every shareholder uh, might be an attendant at this meeting and here is the agenda of the meeting i will put all the links in the description below so you might read it by yourself it is just an ordinary annual meeting but uh, i think on this meeting we might see some interesting facts about the company because it will take place on my on may 26th and this date is after the april and it is a deadline for their uh, prototype of uh, lidar system and before we dive deep into the technical analysis, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. In this case, you won't miss my next video and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So, as you can see, we have uh, several accumulation points and our lowest point doesn't hit by the price for now. And uh, I think uh, we don't have much chances uh, to uh, go this low. But uh, we hit again our second target right here as you can see i can make it uh, longer and uh, we just in the middle of uh, this accumulation point and these points are still in place uh, they are still viable because we don't have uh, any new data uh, with from the technical standpoint basically i want to show you just one more thing let me clean a little bit the chart and uh, let me show you this trend line as you can see uh, this line let me adjust it a little bit we have several touches and uh, basically this is a trend line for this price and we've almost hit it uh, right now and in my opinion it should be uh, respected by the price and from this point we might go up and let me remind you that this is our accumulation points and uh, these points might be the best point, uh, points for you as a potential investor to invest in this company and uh, let me remind you that we have several targets and uh, to project these targets i pull the fibonacci extension tool from the bottom of uh, the entire third wave to the top of the wave and uh, here is our lowest point and uh, it should be matched with the uh, third point of uh, this tool and uh, according to elliott wave theory we have uh, several targets and uh, the most probable target is uh, at 0 0.786 level at uh, 28.24 dollars price point second target is uh, right here at one to one extension and it is uh, on 33.19 dollars mark and uh, the most aggressive target is right here and uh, it is 47.47 uh, .47 dollars mark and uh, here is the percentage we have we can double our money from our current price to our first target we might have 136 percent to our second target and roughly 240 percent to our most aggressive target basically from the technical standpoint that's it uh, just subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and hit the like button see you guys and girls next time bye